and I see the dude, he turns around, and I'm panicking at this point because I'm like, what are they doing with weapons? Like, obviously, something go down. All right, you guys, so this is like the first time that I've told somebody about this story. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button. It helps with the algorithm so that this video can be recommended and reach out to more people. So share this with a friend. As y'all read the title, let's just get straight to it. So this happened around the time I was deployed to Syria at the time in 2018. Syria is very beautiful. Like the, the area we was in for security reasons, I'm not gonna really describe everything. It was a couple of like farms and stuff nearby. At nighttime, it was just beautiful. There was no clouds in the sky. There were stars out there. This is what our tent used to look like. I'm gonna scoot over and put it there. And as you guys can see, it just has a dark kind of vibe to it. You get what I'm saying? At nighttime, when you would turn in your bunk, you would hear rats sometimes scattering around. So we would get the little mouse traps out, you'll go to sleep, wake up, it's a dead rat in the trap. But I ain't gonna complain about it. It is what it is. It's an experience that molds me who I am today. This particular night, it, it just something just didn't feel right. I just remember this feeling of overexhaustion. Just like I was just so tired. My eyes just felt heavy that night. I remember just laying down in my bunk or whatever. The way I was positioned, I wasn't too far away from the door. All of a sudden I was woken up to it sounded like a bunch of people talking. And you know how like when you go to a cafeteria or you go to the mall or something, it's just like uh, and you're trying to figure out like it's like you're trying to tune in and find at least hear one voice to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just unusual. It's like two o'clock in the morning. My eyes are somewhat open, but I just kept hearing it. I just hear it kind of die down for a minute. I heard footsteps outside and I heard one voice and it's speaking in Arabic. So I'm like, okay, okay. I don't know what's finna go down, but why are they so close to our tent and why are they chit-chatting and everything? Obviously they plotting something. My first instinct, if my if my rifle and it's loaded is up here, I'm gonna bring it close to me just in case I gotta get, you know. But then I realized I couldn't even lean up. I'm stuck. I can't move. So I'm like looking around I'm like what the hell I know I'm not tripping. I'm looking around I'm trying to fight I'm wiggling my toes that's not working and I'm hearing these guys they're getting closer and closer and closer to the door. I hear the door open then I hear one one footstep just walking on that wood. I hear the wood creaking and everything. All of a sudden I'm looking down at the foot of my bed I see a shadow it come by and I see another shadow. Then like another three shadows. And I see the dude, he turns around and I'm panicking at this point because I'm like, what are they doing with weapons? Like obviously something go down. I sit there and I'm trying to, and I'm trying to wake up. My heart is just beating so hard. It's just like, doom, doom. They all split. All I could hear was gargling noises and, 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 and like sounds of restraint and stuff. This shadow sees that I'm trying to wake up because I'm looking around, I'm blinking a lot. He looks and he just starts walking forward. I see it's a huge AK in front of my face. And then it goes down, right? He slung the AK around, but then everybody else, I guess they kind of stopped doing their thing. And I see they, they start to regroup around my bed. I cannot move, keep this in mind. And my rifle is on the top. So regardless of the situation, if I try to reach for it, it's three dudes that's already there and the guy at the foot of my bed walks around and he goes to my roommate and i see him cover his mouth and he stabbed him repeatedly just in the neck like i couldn't even i was just like oh my god like this is my last day here i just remember for some weird reason it was like white noise my heart was just thumping and thumping and thumping like non-stop the other one it looked like they pulled they both pulled something out at the same time it looked like a knife or something and they were just standing there and when the guy at the head of my bed he goes he squats down and he gets close to my face like this the whole bed is just shaking and i'm here like and i wake up it was like a puddle of sweat everywhere i'm looking around everybody's snoring they sleep they knocked out it ain't nothing going on i look because i'm sitting here i'm like what the hell just went on and i'm like oh my goodness and from that day forward i respected every single person that was on that post true story man that was a humbling experience. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers still to this day. I appreciate it and I love every single one of you guys. But until then, peace.